of our trip in Galena. Right now we are on our way to go goat hiking. Yeah, we're doing something really interesting today. We're getting closer and we're going up this cool little road. Our truck is at 12.30, it's about 12.15 now. It's said to arrive 10 to 15 minutes early. We're trying to rush and get there. We kind of decided to do this last minute. We're gonna try to go to, I think, the winery later today, so it should be a really good day. But this is really cool already, look at this. I found this on Instagram, actually. I looked up Galena, Illinois, and then was just looking at like some tagged posts and found goat hiking. It's about a little over a mile trek, and you walk with the goats all around you, and you can feed them. They even do do some other options that are like goat hiking with wine and other stuff, and like really cool that little been trucks. Fun. Yeah, but they're more expensive too. This one was about twenty dollars each, so really not a bad price either. And this should be a super cool experience. Last night we went into the hot tub and the pool and that was so nice. We finally got to do that in a hotel that we've stayed at. Ari finally got that off of his bucket list of things that he's wanted to do it. It's a nice hot tub, it's cool. Like, Hotels, with yeah. Rocks and everything. And it kind of looks like you're in like the wilderness. So. He always says that he wants to go in the hot tub or the pool and never does. So the first time in like seven years he actually did. I feel like we're in twilight. Driving very uphill again, steep grades. They also said not to wear perfume there because it makes the goats sneeze. We're definitely hoofing it. It's called Hoof It Galena in case you want to check it out. Here it is, look we see. It says it wooded rocks. wonderland, country, state, and sawmill. I suppose we're Huffin. gonna drive down here. Yeah. Prevent tick bites. Oh god. This is so cool. Oh, and it probably. Look, at it's Bridge to Terabithia. Oh, yeah, it looks like it. I wonder if Leslie's here. Oh, wait, no, she died. Is this the Hofe? I think that's an abandoned house. You're goat in there. Prehistoric fossil discoveries, country store. It's wait, abandoned. is it supposed to look no, like this? No, I think it's totally just closed and abandoned, but I mean, Hofe's definitely open. I huh? think it's supposed to look like this. I don't think so. Why would they just leave all this stuff? I don't know. A lot of things out here are like abandoned. We're following the signs. Let us know in the comments if you know if these are actually abandoned or just named. There are a ton of abandoned buildings and like towns that look almost like ghost towns out in this area. But we're getting close. So good thing we got here a little early because this is truly a trek out to the goat hike. The car is not like an off-roading car. There's so. chickens. What is that thing? Is it? What is that thing that's so scary? Like that fake person? Oh, there's chickens right there. There's so much to see. If only they had pigs. This is kind of scary. It's a little scary. Keep going. Oh, there's time. people. Yep, there's people, and there's no way anyone would walk up this. So. Oh, look, there's probably our trek group for the goat hike. This is truly an experience. There's the goats. Well, we have arrived. Let's get to hiking. So we just checked in at the little trailer over there. Now we're kind of just looking at the goats and getting ready for our truck. Should leave in about five minutes. So we have to start walking. She's gonna let the herd out and we can touch them and play with them and try to take selfies with them and do whatever we want. Here they come. And she said to keep walking because otherwise they won't follow us. Hello. I'm with my friends. <laughs> this is so cool. We're just one with the goats. I do like that little one. Oh, hello. That little one's name is Fern. Oh, here comes the herd. There's some just in the trees still. Oh, here they all come. That little one is so cute. The 
this forest that's really cool. I really want to make a leaf pile. Can you imagine the amazing leaf pile that someone could make here? I have a visitor. Oh, hello there. The goats all jump up on the log, so this is where they stop to do group and family photos. The rest of them are all just over here. While me and Jamie were taking our picture, a goat came up and bit my sleeve, and he started biting under my jacket. So they took some of the photos on Jamie's phone, and we were looking at them, and Jamie was like, look at your face in this one, and I said, zoom in, that's when the goat bit my jacket. <laughs> I was I trying to like. His face looks funny, but it's now it's even funnier knowing that the goat's just there biting his. I was jacket. trying to smile, but I was also like distracted because he was literally nibbling on my jacket. So, wait, we hadn't even continued going through yet. Look at this. This is when I realized that he was tugging it. Look at my. <laughs> These are so funny. I got some really good photos of Jamie with the goat. We'll insert them here. Um, and then she got a little scared because she touched the things on its neck. But yeah, we'll put the good ones because yeah, there are some really cute ones. We'll throw them in. And now we are continuing the trek. The goats love to walk on the logs and play. Oh no, don't fall, little fern. Oh, there you go. I'm sorry, not right now. Hi, this little one is so cute. They're gonna give us carrots to feed, and then they said if anyone wants to go into the middle and get on their knees and put out their back, the goats will jump on top of you. So they said it's your chance to try out having a goat jump on your back. Jamie, maybe take off your backpack and get down and see if he'll jump on your back. Look, buddy. Oh, no, no, no. Go to, go to Jamie. Look, come on. Oh, right. Bold choice. Come here, up, up, up. Oh, there's one. No, just stay there. Turn. Here, boy. Come here. Come here. Turn, Here we go. Kind of up, 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 up. Come here. When you get it all the way up, girl. Oh, oh, oh. I saw. <laughs> oh, look, Jamie, here's the little one again. Oh, I like this one. Everyone wants the goats to jump on their backs. The goat has been on his back for like a minute. Jamie's gonna try once more. Give it a try. Yay! Put your butt out of the way. Hey dude, just get your butt out of the way. Come here. Come here. Come here. That was cool. That was awesome. So we have it on video too, but look at these. These photos were awesome. Just quick scroll through. We'll post them in the video too. Like this is when the goat stepped on Jamie's head. And then when he like started jumping off. <laughs> Like, you can't beat that. We'll throw the actual full photo in, but that was great. And after. Yeah, that was awesome. It's a nice little field for the goats. It feels really good in the sun. It does feel good in the sun. Yeah, weather is not bad today. It was like 50, 55 when we got here, but now it feels like it's like 60 and sunny. It's a perfect day for a little goat hike. And we've kind of made our way back to the area with the pens where we started off. So it looks like our trek is coming to a close. No. All the goats are going back. Say goodbye to Fern. And then they gotta round up all the goats. Oh yeah, that one in the right direction. There. 
And now they are all rounded up in their pen. Oh, except Cedar. Cedar is still out. And inside the container, a little shipping box to where you check in, there's a ton of merch. So this is the Hoof It merch. The little goat logo. A lot of sweatshirts and shirts. And I grabbed a bunch of brochures too of kind of things to do in Galena so we can keep them and kind of look at them. Looks pretty cool. So we are finished with goat hiking, hoof it Galena. And uh, what did you think? It was fun. Yeah, it was really cool. Super unique experience. I know I said that about the parade too and just kind of everything here, but it's a lot of cool stuff to do in Galena, a lot of random stuff. Like where else would you go for a hiking trek with goats through the forest. First of all too, it did take about an hour. The actual hike walk itself would probably be like 20 to 30 minutes, but there were quite a few stops, regroups to get with the goats, photo opportunities, feeding sessions, which stretched it out to like an hour. So it was a pretty good experience. I'd say it was well worth the $20 each. I would, I would do it again. Me too, I would absolutely do it again. I'd even do the wine one, the wine one would be fun. I mean, she kind of did explain like the story of how it started because it's such a random thing. I guess her daughter just wanted a couple goats and then they got goats and then she was trying to find a way to pay for her daughter's college and it started as like a side hustle. She had five goats and then the business kind of took off and she expanded to 26 goats and now has just kind of been growing her herd as she has baby goats every year. And it's really actually pretty cool. So definitely if you're in the Galena area or ever around here. Check it out. Yeah, definitely check out Hoof It. We had a huffin' time. We are going down the mountain, here we come. Yeah, it's a little scary. We are going down the mountain, here we come. So we're already in our costumes. Here's Tinkerbell's. She is the White Rabbit. If you could tell from Alice in Wonderland, which means that Jamie must be. Alice. And her costume looks great. And we're getting ready to go to the vineyard, the winery. So this should be super fun. And we're gonna take we're some gonna photos there. Tea party. Yes, we will. It'll be great. Let's go. A very merry, happy and birthday to yes. you. To you. But I didn't even show off my costume. I am the Mad Hatter, loosely, right now. I have a hat and stuff that I'm gonna put on too for photos and whatever. So we just arrived and it looks like over there there's the tasting room where they also have wine sales and gifts. And then over there it says you can get wine by the glass and that's like an entrance area. So I don't know, we're gonna figure it out. Oh wow, so this is really nice. They've got like the warehouse, a bottling room. I've got my Mad Hatter hat here to wear. There's Tinkerbell, and then we're gonna go check it out. We're gonna check out the wine by the glass area first. So never mind, that door was closed. We're gonna go over to the tasting room. We are having our little tea party. Well, actually, it's a wine party, and I got a caramel apple wine slush. This looks crazy. And I, yeah, I'm gonna put my Mad Hatter hat on with the hair and everything. We're gonna get a good photo eventually, but so far it's been great. Um, and the prices are good, so we did a tasting. The tasting was $8. We gotta try six wines, and then I got my slushy, which is ton, and then Jamie got. Ended up getting a cranberry, it's Merry a, Merry cranberry Christmas wine. Yeah, it's like a Christmas wine or really like a Thanksgiving like holiday lovely. wine. <laughs> Yeah, we tried six different tastings. Oh yeah, we tried a Moscato, but it was called a Moscato, and it had some flavors in it. Then we tried a Country Rosé, which is like watermelon and strawberry flavors, I think. It was delicious. And then we tried the Cranberry, which was the one that Jamie actually ended up getting. And then we tried this one that was a wedding cake, which was made with almond extract, and it was kind of like sweet and had an almond cookie flavor almost. Crazy good. And then we tried a peach wine, and it wasn't really like, like a peach. overwhelming peach flavor yet. 
tasted almost kind of like canned peach juice, which she said, yeah, neither of us liked the peach that much, surprisingly. And then the last one that we tried was a dessert wine, and it was this red raspberry, some type of dessert, and those were the strongest, apparently, like anywhere from 16 to 20% alcohol for the wine. Yeah, and the raspberry one was good, but it was it really good. Me. Yeah, it was really good. It was very desserty, very delicious. I would, yeah, I would have drank the raspberry again, for sure the country rose, probably the Moscato, even though it wasn't my favorite Moscato I've ever had. And the raspberry that Jamie got was super good. I actually did really like the raspberry dessert wine too, which was surprising. And it was, yeah, pretty dangerous because it's a little bit strong. So we're gonna sit here, gonna enjoy this. I actually haven't tried this yet. This is a caramel apple wine slush. So let's give it a go. She said it's made with caramel apple wine and the apple wine, and then adding some mulling spices and then frozen in a slush. So it's seasonal, of course, and I love apple, caramel apple. That's great. Tastes like I just sipped on some frozen applesauce. Quite delicious. And Alice, how is your raspberry wine? Mad Hatter, I, I sure don't understand. Why is this making me shrink? I don't think it is. It's making you turn it's upside crazy down and turn. and I don't understand. Oh, yeah, so crazy. Wow, look at that white rabbit there. Wow. <laughs> How does it look? Do I look crazy? Do I look mad? <laughs> So we mostly finish our drinks. Jamie got another one of the raspberry dessert yeah. wines. Yeah, so she had three glasses total. It was delicious, right? Which one was your favorite? Which one was your favorite overall? So the Christmas one. Yeah, the then cranberry. I did get the cheese yes. tray because I always love cheese trays. We and like a good charcuterie. Go good I almost finished my slush. This was amazing. It tasted like liquid frozen cinnamon applesauce with a little bit of wine taste to it, which was delicious. And Tinkerbell's just been hanging out and having a great time as the she little white Tinkerbell. rabbit. She is the white rabbit. Yeah, she's the white rabbit. But her ears don't stay on too well, but she looks adorable. And it's so nice out here. She's got a nice seating area. Some pumpkins fall theming. And then inside of there is the taste thing, all the kind of the merchandise. There's a lot of different clothes and stuff for the sellers in the winery. Bunch of bottles that you can buy and other cool stuff. So it's an awesome place. And we are on our way out. The wine cellar and vineyard did close at five today and it's like five ten, so they locked the doors and we're just walking around the outside over to the car. This was a great experience. We really enjoyed it here. Goodbye to the cellars. This was really fun. We would like we to had come a back. Great time with our tea party. Yes, we sure did. We did not get poisoned. Nope. We would definitely like to come back on a summer day to do like a tour too and see what else there is. You've just got so many cool, interesting, beautiful views out here in this part of the country of Illinois. If we haven't mentioned it too, Galena is like almost right on the border of Illinois and Iowa. So you're really kind of out there. Um, it's close to like Dubuque, Iowa. So we're, yeah, super close. Like we could pass over the Iowa border within like 15 to 20 minutes, I think. It's just really cool out here. 